Well, I think one area we need to improve a little bit on is our uh, commitments. We had a good number of commitments up there in the definitely the top half of the league, but I think that's something that we can get better at this year. Well, it's tough to tell. You don't know the rosters of the other teams. You know the, the coaches and that they're competitive, and I expect it to be a competitive division. And this division's won the last three Robertson Cups, so I don't, uh, you know, I don't think that's going to change. Well, we want to be competitive, and I think it's very important we'll be a younger team that we have a good start. Um, we want to obviously produce some college scholarships and college opportunities and, and be at the top of our division and hopefully be there in the end with a chance to win a championship. Well, it just kind of goes to show the strength of the league, and it's a blue-collar league, and everybody's working hard for uh, whatever they might think they deserve or they want to earn. So uh, it's a good number, and I wouldn't be surprised if that number goes up this year. Just the exposure that the players get. It's, it's uh, you know, nothing's really set in stone with the team's identity. Uh, it's, it's pretty um, free hockey, and, and the guys are moving around and, and uh, showcasing their skills, and, and it's a great stepping stone for them to get noticed throughout the season for colleges. Well, it's Fairbanks to me, it's, it's like a big team. It's basically have to be, you're isolated from, you know, the country, parts of the country and, and the world for that matter. There's uh, not much within 100 miles, but uh, there's so much within 100 miles with the beauty of Alaska. So uh, I think the people really appreciate uh, living up here and it takes a special person to live up here, but they understand that uh, um, You know, they need everybody in the community for it to thrive well, Kind of what I said earlier, it's a blue-collar uh, league. I think everybody um, is willing to go the extra mile for uh, the person next to them and themselves and and to create success so everybody's working hard and and uh, it's competitive every single day whether it's just uh, in practice, at games, you know, the travel schedule, whatever it is, it's a competitive league. I, we really have no clue. So, we, I mean, the guys aren't on the ice yet. They report next week, but um, we, we, we can't take anything for granted with recent success. It's, you know, at the end of the day, we, we feel we have to outwork people. And, and uh, so hopefully that turns into the identity of our team and, and uh, so we're looking to set the groundwork here next week.